Hello, everybody. Seven years ago, I felt the sky is falling on me. I worked with a colleague of mine in the University Ali, and he told me, Rafi, you look weird. Your left side is lower than your right side, and your left hand doesn't squeak as you go along. Please go and be checked in the doctor office. I told him, I felt recently that I'm walking slower as if I'm getting old in one day. My steps are smaller, my handwriting becomes smaller, and I have trouble getting out of my car. So I'm going to rush to my neighbor, he's a neurologist, we checked this evening. I went to the neurologist, and after a few minutes that he saw me, he told me the following. Rafi, I have good news and bad news for you. The good news are that you're going to have five more years of normal living. But afterwards, you'll need some nursing. I was shocked. What would you do if you hear the news that you have another five years of normal living? I was in a state of shock, and I went back home. I didn't tell anybody. I entered in a period of denial. For two years, I worked and researched as if I'm healthy. But one day, I looked at the mirror and said, Rafi, you must fight the disease. The disease is progressing. Sooner or later, you'll be incapacitated. I went to the computer. Looked in the what can I do besides the medications that I get for Parkinson? What I tried, I tried swimming, walking, Tai Chi, Qigong, but and I recall that I like to see dancing people and dancing in the stars, and maybe I will, I will dance, and this will be my sporting activity. Because all the sporting activities so far that I did, I was an Harvard graduate student and I went to Boston Celtics game. I used to clap my hands. I would like now to be a dancer, I told myself, rather than being a Parkinson's disease patient. So I went to a dance class and I saw young and old people dancing cha-cha-cha, Latin dance, and I'm trying to follow them. But my feet couldn't be lifted from the ground. I was sort of freezing and I couldn't follow them. And a guy nearby me named Uri told me, Rafi, it would take miles and miles of cha-cha-cha till you'll do it right. Practice is my middle name. I, have, I like challenges. So I said to myself, I'm going to be a dancer rather than PD patient. What I found in dancing is that every requirement from a dancer is just the opposite of the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. For example, in Parkinson's disease, I used to walk like this, small steps and bend it over. But when you become a dancer, you have to stand tall, upright, and with wide shoulders. And when you move your hand, you have to fill up the space and be like the king of the dancing floor. Everything is just the opposite. For example, you had small steps before you start dancing, and now you can do large one. You can do any steps that you want. You can do the cha-cha, and you like one, two, three, cha-cha, one. You can do it before. You can do it before. Like two, three, cha-cha, one, two, three. I like to dance, as you see. <laughs> I love dancing. It got me out of the Parkinson's disease that I have. And now if you so like to see me dancing, I'd like to invite my best friend, Anna Ronov, to dance with me. <laughs> she is a dance from Dancing with the Stars. Dance with me. Skyfall. We're going to dance Skyfall since I 
was notified by the doctor that, that I have Parkinson's disease, the sky was falling on me. This is the end. Hold your breath and count to ten. Feel the earth move and then hear my heart burst again. For this is the end. I've drowned and dreamt this moment. So overdue, I hold the day. Swept away, I'm stoned. Yeah.